the Peach Bowl with Ohio State and Georgia. Georgia, a seven point favorite. The total sits at 62 and a half over at BetUS. It is Saturday, December 31st. Again, New Year's Eve. And this is the late one. This is the 7 p.m. Central Time game on ESPN. Standalone window. Ohio State not exactly used to being in the underdog role, but they are 18-4-1 against the spread when they are an underdog of three points or more. That's crazy. Like, just looking back over, over the years, anytime they've been an underdog of more than a field goal, they're covering at a just ridiculous clip. The issue is that Georgia, last three times they've been a favorite by less than 10 points, they have just blown teams out of the water. Like, they have covered at a ridiculous rate. So, we look at this. Georgia favored by seven here. I'm just going to pull up the numbers for you so that you can see exactly what we're looking at. And the overall numbers have actually got uh, Ohio State favored by 4.47. Now, the way that this number works is based on plays per game. It's based on uh, net points, points per play, like, et cetera, et cetera. The, the points per play for Ohio State is absurd for their offense. 0. 0.65 points per play for them. And they run 67.67 plays on offense. Uh, it's These two teams are pretty much mirror images. But over the last, you know, uh, six weeks of the regular season... Georgia had a you know a couple of spots here and there that weren't great. Uh, this dates back to I think when Georgia was playing against Missouri, if I'm not mistaken. Might be a little bit after that, but yeah, either way, either way, it doesn't really matter because my number has Ohio State favored by four or close to four and a half. I don't trust the number. My number had Ohio State favored uh, fairly significantly over Michigan. I don't trust it. I've seen the offensive and defensive lines for Ohio State. I do not believe that they can hang with Georgia. Like that's a, There's no number on here that you can get to that's going to make me believe that Ohio State can mash with them in the trenches. Georgia will lean on them and lean on them and lean on them. And they'll rely on Milton and some of those other guys in the running back room. I know that Ohio State's defense is really good against running backs and tight ends coming out of the backfield to catch passes. Okay, like I think Stetson Bennett is going to be able to find A.D. Mitchell. Like They have had plenty of time to be able to get those wide receivers healthy. Georgia's got pieces everywhere. And yes, so does Ohio State. But don't forget, they've also got a bunch of skill position injuries here. They have got um, uh, the wide receiver issue is a big one with Jackson Smith and Jigba. He's gone. Uh, Travion Henderson is not going to play. Uh, who knows about Mayan Williams? It's not a good time to not be healthy. I will say that. And Ohio State has already gotten mashed once at home. Now, granted, it was a little bit of a different situation. They stopped Michigan on basically 90% of the plays, uh, but they had, <laughs> they had like five huge ones. Well, here's the thing. Georgia can can be explosive as well. Like, it's, it's kind of an issue. So you look at pass explosiveness, Georgia's offense number 64, Ohio State number 99. Rushing explosiveness, Georgia number 66, Ohio State's defense number 113. Could be a bit of an issue here. So, you look at Ohio State's offense, uh, the numbers are not great. Just not not overall efficient great. Number 86 PPA per rush, number 73 rushing success rate. Going up against that Georgia defense, eh, that ain't going to work. Georgia number 5 and number 14 respectively in those. You look at the passing game, Ohio State number 37 in PPA per pass. That's predicted points added per pass since week eight. Passing success rate number 70. C.J. Stroud just, it all kind of fell, not not fell apart. Obviously, they're still doing pretty well. It's that they're, they're not great. We expected them to be great. When you're, when you're missing out on guys, that's kind of an issue. You look at points per scoring opportunity. You look at a bunch of other stuff. Like it, One of the big issues here, points per scoring opportunity, uh, as far as Ohio State's defense, they're number 90. Georgia's offense is number 38. Ohio State's offense is number 30 in points per scoring opportunity. That's drives inside the opponent 40-yard line. Uh, Georgia's defense is number 21. Like red zone conversion percentage, like that's that's a problem for uh, for Ohio State. They, they give up 91% of their red zone conversions uh, to the opposing team. That's not good. That's number 120. Georgia is number one. 
Like, they only allow 60% of red zone conversions. Uh, Georgia, number one, offensive red zone conversion percentage. Ohio State, number four on offense. Like, I, I'm going to trust Georgia here to be able to get this done. I know the number's big, and I know that my number goes against that. But I ain't trusting the model. You're going to have to give me Ohio State some other time. Because right now, uh, I'm rolling with the dogs. Give me Georgia. Georgia to cover seven against Ohio State. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.